Hi everyone, in this tutorial using the scene that we've made in the previous tutorial, we're going to learn how to change standard material to VRA material. Let's enlarge the viewport. There are two ways in changing material. First we open material editor and then choose the material you want to use. Copy it to an empty slot and then change here. Select the new material which is VRA material. The new material hasn't had any texture yet. So back to wall, right click in diffuse, copy, and then pass to in diffuse. Pass copy. And then we adjust the parameter below. The material isn't in the scene yet. Select any object that has wallpaper material. And then click assign map. It will ask us whether we want to replace or rename. Choose replace. OK. And then all of the objects that had wallpaper material turn into the new material. Show material using texture. The second way is by using slate material editor. Go to modes and then choose slate material editor. We have slate material editor in 3ds Max 2010 and 2011. And then we choose material using pick material from object. Choose any material that has wallpaper material. It will show up in the center of our slate. Pay attention at the navigator at the right side. And then we make a new material. Which is this, V-Ray material. And then double click. You can see the position in the navigator. Click it, drag it below the original wall material. To organize the slab, we can change it here. By clicking layout all, choose horizontal or vertical, back to material. And then, we select the wall name, copy it using Ctrl C, or right click, choose copy, double click the new material, right click and paste it. Now we have the same name. Take the texture here from the original material. It's in diffuse color, so we have to move it to diffuse map. Click and then drag, and then we choose one of the wall we are going to change. Use assign material. We'll also ask whether we want to replace it, okay? And then show standard map in view 4. We don't have to change the size because it's already the same. If you want to leave the bitmap, you can click right on the wall map. Now delete the old one. The next material we are going to change is the floor material. Pick the floor material first. Select the slate by picking it while holding control. You can also right click and select tree. And then we make a new material. You can also drag V-Ray material to the slate. Double click on the floor name. Copy. Double click. Past. Next. We drag this to diffuse here. Next. Select the floor. And then assign material to selection. Replace it. OK. Show it. And then we change the parameter over here. Raise the reflect value to a very light gray, a bit white, and then we give the glossiness. The maximum value of glossiness reflection is 1, and the minimum value is 0. The higher the reflection value, the smoother it will be. We give 0 0.97. Turn on Fresnel reflection so it won't look too much like glass. Unlock it by clicking L. And then give 5 in Fresnel IOR. The bigger Fresnel value, the more reflection we have. The next thing we're going to change is the, the RDF value. Change it to Paul. Change the reflect interpolation. 
minimum rate to be minus three, maximum rate zero. And then we render it. To save time, we don't have to render everything. We're going to render some part of it just to see whether the effect is good enough. Go to render frame window and then turn on edit region. The icon with the hand picture on it. We can see a rectangle here. And then we can also say, see the same rectangle on the viewport. And then render it. We can see a reflection from the wall to the floor. Close it. Don't forget to press escape. The next material that we're going to change is wood. There are two types of wood here. The light one and the dark one. Select it using this tool. And then zoom it. The wood finishing that we're going to make is matte wood. So the reflection glossiness value shouldn't be too high. Just like before, we drag V-Ray material to the slate. And then change the name and move it and move the texture. Now we adjust the parameter. But first we're going to raise the reflect value to a very light gray. Okay. Put 0 0.85 to reflection glossiness. And then unlock the highlight. Put 0 0.75 to highlight glossiness. Turn on Fresnel Reflection, unlock, and just give 2 for Fresnel IOR value. Change Reflect Interpolation to minus 2, and then the maximum to 0. Okay. Okay. And then we change the furniture material. The base material is the same with wood. So we're going to copy it from there. First, we're going to pick the material from bed. Select it by holding control. You can also right click and select tree. Move it towards the wood material. Click the wood. Hold shift. And drag. Now we have a new material with wood parameter. Erase the line. Click it and delete. Double click. Copy the furniture name. Paste it. And then open the bed so it won't affect the pillow. And then apply the material. Replace it, OK, and then close it again. Now we move the bitmap here. Drag it here. Delete the original one. Show it. Now it's already changed. Now we're going to change the wood material on the bookshelf. The material here is a multi-sub object consists with the light and dark wood. Select all the material by holding control. You can also right click it and select tree so you can select all of it at all at once. And then move it. And now we delete the line. Move it towards the wood material. Drag it. The material on the scene already changed. Again, erase the line. See the texture is missing from the bookshelf after you erase the line. Erase this first. Now drag it here to here. Now the material is already show up on the scene. The reason I use the same material to multi sub object is so I can change the similar material all at once. For example, if we edit the texture on the back panel, the same material on the bookshelf is also changed. So we don't have to do it twice. Show it again. Now we arrange it again. Use layout all. The material that 
also use wood perimeter is door material. So we can repeat the same action there. Next, we're going to make the glass material, which is the material on the window. I already changed it from standard to V-Ray. Now we adjust the V-Ray material parameter. First, raise the reflect value, not too much, just a dark ray. Because the character of glass is real glossy, we don't have to change the reflection glossiness. And then change the refract to almost white. This way we can see through the object. But not too white because we don't want to lose the reflection. Okay, and then change IOR value to 1.1. Check use interpolation, also affect shadow. If you uncheck this, the object will be considered as solid, so it will form shadow. We don't want that with a see-through material. Next, change BRDF to 4. Change to reflect minus 3. Also refract. Assign the material to the window. Render it. Now we are going to change the darker texture on the cornice to gold metal material. We can see the ceiling material is still standard, so we change it first to V-Ray material. Next we're going to make gold metal. I named it... I named it Material Pinggiran. Connect it to the cornice material. Also connect bump texture to bump map. Now we delete the original material. Change the color to gold color, which is dark brown. Also the reflect color. If you want to see the material editing result, you can zoom the slot by double-clicking it. And then we're going to change the parameter. To get a glossy metal effect, the difference between highlight glossiness and the reflection glossiness should be big. For example, 0 0.4 and 0 0.94. You don't have to turn on Fresnel Reflection because you want to you want it to be very glossy. Change it to Paul. Change the reflect interpolation to minus three and the maximum to zero. Double click it again on this box. Render everything. That is the result. All of the parameters I've given here are not absolute. You have to be able to adjust it according to your scene and the color material you are going to use. Have a nice day!